Recording started. All right, we're going to call the report. Again, just because of the noise next door. A letter. We have President Peter Lore, uh, uh, Dragon Dragon, uh, Marcy Hammond, Jane Nevin Smith, myself, Susan Mosler, and Marcy, our uh, nurse. Um, we have rest from Margaret, who's out of town this evening, and also uh, Ben, our health agent, who has a very sick young boy at home. Oh, yeah. So that's always a drag. Yeah. So uh, can we? Uh, yeah. Motion to approve the minutes from last. Yep, yeah, that's number two. I'd I'd like to make a motion. Second. Oh, well, okay. Two in person. Minutes are accepted. Yep. Next item number three would be the report from the health inspector. Okay. Yeah, so Ben Ben is not here. He said that he would. Uh, everything's okay. There were no fires. That he would send us all a catch up email over the next week. And, and because Jane has to, another meeting to go to. Mm -hmm. Sure. Let's, um, Jane, uh, welcome. It's great. It's good to have you here. Thank you. Uh, we have missed having you here. Thank you. Um, before you say whatever you might want to say, what I would like to say is that if there is, uh, if there are any agenda items coming before the select board that might uh, warrant uh, board of health input, if you could let me know sure. uh, in advance and that I could prepare and certainly attend the meeting, we are available. Okay, thank you. Susan, if you want to go backwards. Oh, she has some comments. Here. Well, I didn't know if Jane had any. Is, is there anything that's well, going the, on? The one question I want to know is the Climate Change Committee passed their plastic reduction bylaw, but there are a lot of people who are unaware of it. And I'm wondering because stores, restaurants, food vendors are the major people that it applies to, if there's any way we can send a notice out when you send. So. This is a great dovetail into this because this is something that actually Peter thought of. Um, we can't. Great even, brains. Yeah. And Peter, do you want to speak about like the uh, permit application for the Board of Health for the yeah, next so, season? So, um, as you know, we have permit link. Uh, Finally, it works. Well, I didn't say that. <laughs> you have permit link. We, we, We're we, paying we, for we, permit. We have, okay. yes. Um, so, we are engaging, or I'm engaging in an outbound email campaign, as we should be this time of year, to alert everybody that's time to renew your permits for 2024. These are all the food establishments, basically up and down Route 9 and on the side streets. So in the automated, automated letter that gets generated by way of email, um, by way of permit link, uh, we have the ability to customize the letter to a certain extent okay so uh on this letter i've included a reminder for those folks who have who were granted in early 2023 that december 31st the permit's up so it's on there if it's in the letter if you want to add something is there else, any way to put a link to the actual bible no, no, because I, I asked that question. You know, this, the software is not that flexible. Can you preface? I don't know specifically how you go about people who got. If, if I didn't apply for a variance or a delay, I might not think it applies to me. I think we need to say something like Hadley has a plastic reduction bylaw that has to do with the. Items you use, please check it out on the town website. Here is that. Email. You know, Shane, I agree with you. However, I'm wondering where that should come from because the Board of Health is not responsible for enforcement. No, it's information our only. Value. Our only involvement was with abatements. Right, but it's you have you're writing to these people because they need you need to write to them. And nobody else needs to write to them. Nobody else has this list. And the town is fucked up and can't get to it anyway. 
So this letter is going out. Yeah, yeah, well, you can work with Peter. I yeah, her, I, you know. so I, I got it. Okay. So what I'll do is the letters have not gone out yet because I'm waiting for the vendor to send me the instructions. Mm -hmm. But whole other issue. So we have Monday. Uh, let's talk. Are so, you doing Monday? Yeah, I'll just do it. Okay. I, I got it. Okay. So, so it, it'll be done. Yeah, but so, we just need to have everybody know this yeah. applies to you. Yeah, absolutely. So I'll have yeah, it. No, no problem. Just as long as we're all clear that. But we, yeah, okay. oh, yeah, we need to make sure that we're not really on point for right. compliance. That's, right. that's another box. You could even say the select board requested to be reminded that. I don't think we want that. Right. Yeah, I was yeah. trying to get you out of the middle. No, of no, I'm not just worried kidding. about that. I just, we are happy to uh, do the town's uh, data. Okay. So, what I was going to say seems, uh, is that with regards to Ben, I can tell you he's been very, very busy. Um, got a couple of times. Number one, uh, a couple of weeks ago, he Actually, got on his got on his waders and went to a uh, to a park test and soil evaluation up in Keith. Yeah, he's been to a lot of training. Yeah, there's there's a farm up there that was and it's going to build a house. So instead of you know sending our our guy that normally does that work, part of that is training yeah. was go do this yeah. with part with the goal that, that provides the training. And so he went up and he was there for an the entire day doing soil evaluations and this and that. Stuff that he's never done yet. He's done all the food establishment stuff and all the other stuff previously, but anything to do with soil evaluations or current tests or uh, time of five, still relatively new to him. So, so that's number one. Number two, he did go to that uh, Massachusetts uh, Board of Health, yeah. something or other. Uh, group. It was a conference. It was a three day conference. I think it's down in Phil. Yeah, it's usually. And uh, he had the ability and the opportunity to meet with other folks that essentially do what he does. And it was not just like three days of PowerPoint slides. They did breakout groups Good. and there was networking in between you know, the meals and so on and so forth. So he, he came away with a lot of stuff, stuff that I don't really understand. But <clears throat> It's uh, seven things are really worth it. Um, ben also continues to work closely with our Title V um, inspector, Kevin Quinlan, Don Quinlan's brother. Um, so he's Ben is essentially job shadowing mm -hmm. Kevin now. Okay. So if Kevin has any work where he needs to go on site, so he's away. Yeah, he schedules it with Ben. But this time of year, obviously, there's not a lot of that going on. You know, Kick them again in the spring when people are looking to sell their houses and whatever. We we are in the process of transitioning to having Ben do all this work. Good. So yeah. it's really so, and, and Kevin and Kevin is aware. Kevin's yeah. Aware. Oh yeah. So, yeah. So, Kevin's filling in basically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Um. So uh, then Ben has also been very active in. Uh, visiting all the food establishments that haven't been visited for a while, which is or perhaps then like a second or third morning before Ben came on board and he's followed up with them. Uh, he's had a couple of uh, locations that had been somewhat non compliant uh, the last couple of weeks, and the approach that Ben's taken is rather than shutting them down, coming in, you know, like I'm the sheriff in town kind of thing. He spends time educating them. Okay. And so there's, again, there are a couple of places, I'm not going to mention names, that were out of compliance. You know, you stop them kind of dead in their tracks saying, okay, you're out of compliance. I need to do this, this, and this. I'm coming back in a couple of days. Um, you know, this hasn't cleaned in a while. I tell, stop what you're doing, get your car, go to Walmart, you buy this, 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 and come back, and I'll be waiting, kind of thing. Um, he did respond to a uh, phone call from like, um, a resident who had visited one of our uh, local eateries, and uh, they reported that um, things weren't as clean as they might be. And uh, 
Yeah. Well, yeah. Except Ben, ben got in his car, drove down Route 9, and visited the establishment. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's doing a really good job. Yeah, I'm yeah. yeah. hearing that. You know, Carolyn had sent me an email a week or so ago saying that she was getting such positive feedback on Ben. And, you know, my response to her was, let's do everything we can mm -hmm. to uh, keep him there. Yeah. Because. <laughs> so the select board and the finance committee are meeting on December 6th to figure out how to get down finances. Okay, first time in three years. Mm -hmm. Well, I think Carolyn is aware of what an asset uh, Ben is. I don't think there's anything that we need to do. I, yeah. I think she but, will advocate and do his best. As no, as and I think his the way he's doing it with education mm -hmm. instead of of course you're wrong. Stop. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, no but this way, this is what happens. Yeah. No, he's he's no, that's that's great. He's, he's great. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I like him from the minute I met him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it, it's a really good approach versus again just telling them, okay, send all your workers home. Yeah. Close the restaurant or the close side. That's what we did guess to Starbucks. He, he, right? could, he could do that. That's what we did to Starbucks. I think uh for a couple of days, yes, we had to do that. Starbucks there's been one or two others that mm -hmm. well, the the Dallas, they, they were like they kind of kind of off the rails. Yeah, if they're really off the rails, you gotta there's gotta be yeah. some reason to yeah. Is there anything uh, going on with the select board or the town that we should uh, be aware of? Um, no, I, there's just a lot going on. There's a lot of people who are um, thinking it's if they can get their way, they'll just sue the town. What's that? They'll sue the town if they can't get their way. Oh, okay. So we've got all of these expensive lawyer. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They just and it takes time and money and attention and yeah. My complaint is the lawyers are so thorough when we meet with them, but they're paying by the minute, you know. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But they say it, and I said to Caroline, "Can't they cut it short?" Well, if they cut it short and we make a decision and then it's wrong, right. they'll say, "But you didn't allow us time to tell you right. everything." So. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, uh, I think the board's working pretty well right. together, except Joyce, but that doesn't count. Who is taking care of the migrants who are in Havlin? At the moment, it's the um, National, National Guard. Guard. Who brings them food? The, the National Guard. The National Guard has got the There's, other side. They have a, someone stationed there that's like their case manager. Okay. All right. But they're looking for, for long-term solutions mm -hmm. to that problem. Okay. Correct. That has not. All right. They don't need people to bring groceries over there. Well, I know that um, public safety's Lauren's collecting winter clothes. Who is Lauren Trombley from public safety? She, she does the records department for the police department. Oh, sorry, to go to the police department mm -hmm. for coats and stuff yeah, like that. Right. Yeah. I don't know if she's going to make a public announcement or if it's just I, sort of. I think the challenge right now, which is it's a great problem to have, is that if there's an announcement that's made, if there's going to be almost you think it's too much, too much. Then why can't we take them to the people at best? Or yeah, how many people do we have housed here? Um, there's 11 families. I think it's 30. 36 or 32. Yeah. Okay. All right. Something yeah. I heard today that I had not known is that all the all the mothers that are there are pregnant with their kids. So. All right. Well, just as an aside, if there's anything you know that, that, health can do, I that private that. citizens can do to help out, okay. please let me know. Great. Great. Or the Board of Health, but certainly okay. for, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Well, thank you, Jane. Sure. Uh, Marcy, you go and then you can get out of here too. Go ahead. Um, nice to have you. Thank you. <laughs> um, the, there was a COVID clinic uh, today, and um, there was, I, the, the tally hasn't been uh, given to me yet, but I think it was shy of 70. And uh, what's that? S S shy of 70 people. That's terrific. Yeah. It's yeah. yeah. great for a little town to have. Yeah. yeah. It, it went really, really Thank well. Thank you, Marcy. Yeah. And um, there was one more thing I just wanted to mention. Um, one of the nurses there from Northampton, um, was, I believe her first name is Jennifer, she mentioned to me something about would I have the ability to go to into the home to vaccinate? No. Okay. 
It, she, it was something that she brought up. Not here. Yeah. 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 There's a, yeah. They it's, have they have a regional homebound program, to, yeah. but that's all through them. Yeah. Um, and no, the person has to be yeah. insured and that, yeah. you know, you know. Uh, yes, yeah. I know. It, yeah. it, it does. You do need to think yeah. about other things. Yeah. That's a nice thought. Yes. Yeah. That's great. All right. Next on our agenda. Um, we'll report from the oh, Peter, go ahead. Admin assistant. So the other thing I have to report is, again, we're going to be engaging in the outbound email right. food establishments. Um, the, um, you know, the other thing that I can mention is that uh, the uh, the folks that are, in fact, uh, still looking to sell their properties and having, there's been, for whatever reason, a, an increase in traffic put traffic into the Board of Health office looking for documentation, which, again, I mean, that's why we're there. But oddly, there's a number of people, for whatever reason, in November and October, that are looking to turn over their homes. Is they're looking, they're looking to get further sector, uh, the system, Title V type documents. So I don't know what that means uh, for having, but it's like, it, it's a lot more than last year. In terms of foot traffic, and I would have thought last year mortgage rates being as low as they were, foot traffic would have been a lot higher. So, yeah. Again, I don't know what that means. I don't think it means anything. But. Were we going to look at there were some permit fees? That's that, that's on the agenda, right? Yeah, that's next. Right. Do you want to do that now? Yeah. Thank you, Marcy. Yeah. Marcy, thank, thank you. For Thanks to everybody else as well. Appreciate everything. I still have not gotten the uh, PD, no, no, but no, no. You know, they say it's going to show up. Here you go. Huh? I joke that things like that show up just in time for us to not need them. Yeah. Soon. Peter, first of all, thank you for doing this. Oh, yeah, definitely. Probably. So, James, just a Background on this. Uh, all I did is I looked at our fees, some of, some of our fees, just kind of a random look at, and compared them to what we're charging versus uh, towns. Of course, I have a Westella right here for Hatfield. Now that I see it. Oh, well, um, But I, I compared Hatfield and some of the with yeah, Hampton. Looks, and looks and like South Hampton could, and Grammy, as you had uh, suggested. Yeah, looks like we could go up on the disposal system construction permit, correct? Yeah. Emma, what do you suggest we? Uh... Yeah, I think for we could go up to two hundred and be comparable. I think that's a great idea. So I'd like to make a motion that we move up disposal construction permit to two hundred. Second. Okay. All right. So this this will be All as as uh, January, January one. Yeah. All in favor? Uh, Aye. Okay. Uh, septic hauler, we can go up also. We could to be more in line. Yeah, that would put us in line and still under, I would say 150. Good. Um, which would still put us under Sunderland, under Amherst, and under Southampton. Okay. So does this go to your budget or into the town general fund? Everything goes into the town. The town. town. Yeah, we, we don't get a commission. Just knowing the whole mess that's going on with yeah. water and sewer, septic. I'm, the town needs to figure out how to get this money from septic hauling into the wastewater treatment because, in fact, that's people well, that's that aren't paying town. aren't yeah. paying sewer bills, but yeah. they're paying this, and they could well, go into that. Well, this is septic haulers. Yeah. These are the yeah. companies that take right. waste. These are contract. contract. The right. Contract, These are but they're still related to the wastewater. Yeah. I mean, so that would be. I can talk, I'll talk on my end. Yeah. You don't care. You change your. I mean, I care. The money. I would love us to have the money. Um, septic installer. So septic hauler. So I'd like to make up the one for one fifty. Seconded. All in favor. As of January first. All in favor. Aye. Right, okay. And then staller. You want to leave it where it is. I, let's leave that for now. Okay. Um, just because Northampton is no, under, keep, and we're in alignment, it keeps us in line. Yeah. Yeah. So just to let you guys know, this this is obviously not a huge revenue machine we're having. Oh, but, but whatever it is. But there's no reason to leave, in my opinion, to leave money on the table. Right. 
Yeah, whatever it is. It's good for the sound. We need to cover some legal costs. Yeah, it's good for the sound. We can cover some yeah, legal costs. So you went 150? 200, 200, 150, 100. And that, that would be reflected on our, on our web page. So don't all know. Did you resolve your IT? Yeah. I think it was a, a personal uh, input error. I think I wasn't putting the stuff right. Yeah. You know how sometimes that happens. Mm -hmm. No. no. I don't understand. Um, the next item on the agenda is number six, the COVID-19 wastewater testing update. Um, I updated the website. Yeah, we did. The we just got report. Yeah. yeah. So we are getting that. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah, DPW, uh, Peter, I don't know, I don't remember his last name. He's, and they're readable. He's, yeah. He's collecting the data. He's now put it into a graph. So that you don't have to read the data. It's a line graph, and you know this week it's this, and the next week it's that. You know, but uh, so at least we're getting it. I don't think it's necessarily. Cons I don't know sure we're getting it consistently. But again, he's capturing all the data. There's no missions. Right. There, there are no yeah. slips because yeah. obviously he's got us. But I guess the DPW's done a good job with it. Yeah. And what's nice with like right now is it looks like by the infograph we're pretty much we're beyond the most recent wave we're back down to where it was. It's down now, so back up. Yeah, yeah. I'd like to be hopeful. Yeah. Um. Anything else for discussion on that? Number seven is Board of Health Initiatives for 2023. Um. Here it was review standards of care letter, but that's a oh okay. So I did. I thank you, Peter. There, so, yeah, I was confused about what this whole standard of care thing is. But basically, in my view or summary, I could be off, but I think this is what's, what's happening is that it's not like there's a new set of standards. The standards are what's in the state Correct. law. In other words, the Board of Health has to do this, the Board of Health has to do that, the Board of Health has to do this. Realizing that the inequities and that a town like Cambridge has a lot more money and can provide, do a lot more things than a place like Hadley. So now we have these uh, consortiums. Mm -hmm. I don't know what we, what do we call them? Shared services? The shared, we have shared service agreement. So... It sounds like what will be happening is that as they look at state and these shared services, as they look at more and more data, the idea is to find out who needs more help and to provide it through the shared service providers. So basically, there's nothing that we have to do. And from, you know, just looking briefly, I mean, we're, we're doing a oh, Ben is like we're we're doing really well, really well. Um, I imagine there's probably a couple of areas where we are not aware of maybe of something that we should be doing, but um, I, I think we've really got the basis covered. Uh, and, and again, because Ben is, and Peter are doing it, it has nothing to do with uh, but itself. We've organized it that we have Peter and Ben. Yeah. But which makes it, a yeah. huge difference. It's it's huge strides that we've come it's, in the last it's, like five years. It's really it's absolutely it's unbelievable. I, I think a lot of it also is uh, again our three board members they've gone the extra mile to make sure that we're fully staffed. I mean, look at you look at a year ago, we were kind of kind of had a nurse, but we didn't have a nurse, then we had one, then we didn't have one. Uh, we had a food inspector, then we didn't have one, then we did, then we, then we were outsourcing it. Yeah. It was nuts. And Title Five, mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, with Greg's passing, that was a huge hole, yeah. and we filled it temporarily with Kevin. So we're, we're kind of we kind of filled all the chairs that needed to be filled, which, um, which, which is a big difference. All my world. board of health dreams have come true. Yeah, we'll yeah. Yeah. You know, verse, verse that doesn't mean you can leave. Yeah, um, I have to go because yeah, thank you, Jay. Thanks. They have nothing else to do, and you want to hear interesting things. Come in here. Why climate change isn't happening? Try the nose Got it. What is what? Climate change is not happening. 
Well, we know that. And there's this whole mean, group of people that sit in that room and just try to yeah. disrupt the meeting yeah. so yeah. nothing can happen. That's yeah. hard. Yeah. We've met many of them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Um, okay, do we have other... Uh, well, um, number seven was Jane, but she already did her update that she could do. And then nine is just any other business that couldn't be reasonably anticipated. Not that I can think of. Uh, like I said, I had ordered... Uh, test kits and some PPE from the state that has not arrived. I did email Lauren Devine and she said she thought that we were going to get it, but she she didn't know when. So at some point I'll come home one day and it'll all be I'll have 80 boxes of test kits piled up on my porch and, you know, we'll bring them here. I'll bring them, you know, we can bring them to the churches. We can, you know, yeah. pass them around. But the library likes to have them. And uh we, we had a request once yeah. in a while in the office. Let Leslie came in. Yeah, so we'll you know we'll pass them around. I think uh some of them I am gonna keep in my house only because we had a lot of supplies here that are gone and I don't know what happened to them. Yeah. So uh unless Marcy can assure me that she has enough room to lock everything up, I will keep stuff at my house. But what, what are you talking about, test kits? What's that? What, what are you talking about that's missing? Oh, I had brought over here uh, big boxes of thermometers and oh. masks, and it's just, it's gone. So, anyway. The only other item um, that I wasn't able to put on the agenda, Ashley Kraft, who is um, the primary contact with MDAR, um, just did send out an email for the annual animal inspector training. Um, they have many Zoom classes that they do, but they also do a great annual training that lasts a couple of hours at TJ O'Connor that usually um, both Kyle and I attend um, in our retrospective roles, um, which is a really another great uh, networking opportunity for other individuals throughout the state. And they usually have a state uh, that they're so that's for you and everything. Yeah. So I'll be great. doing that this Thank coming you. month. Good. That's it. All right, I can't think of anything else. I, I, if it's okay, if we keep the meeting at six thirty, moving forward, I think there's value in having Jane check in with us. Yeah, and um, if it's okay, we have to meet the girl. Okay. Yeah, it works for me too because I'll be able to catch the kids for bedtime. All right, you yeah. know. Okay, I didn't know if yeah which way it worked. You yeah. Yeah. All right, so it works okay. Right. This was a great trial run. I think. Good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, so motion, to, a, motion, motion to, adjourn. to adjourn. Okay. Well, All right. Great.